I got one on too. No. He said he, no. He said my ring. <laughs> So it's about 4 a.m. and we're greasing wheel bearings on our boat trailer because we're going on kind of a road trip this morning. Me, my dad, Landon, he's behind the camera. We're headed down to East Tennessee to do some blue cat fishing on the Tennessee River. We got about a three hour drive. Love going on these adventures like this. You never know what you're gonna get into. We're going to a place today we've never been to before. So it's gonna be a good time. Just pulled up to the ramp here. It looks like we got some really good current and we got our bumping rods with us. We're gonna try to do some bumping today. This will be the first time I've picked up a bumping rod in several months, so really excited for that. We're gonna try to go out here and catch us some fresh skipjack. So let's go out here and get after them, guys. <laughs> oh, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> what you got going on here? We're having a hard time. I'm man. not going to tell you how to put it on. Hey, look at that. <laughs> oh. He still can't figure it out. <laughs> look. <laughs> look, he's got it all wadded up. Look. Here, here, let me help you. What's wrong with this thing? I don't I think it's an operator. All right, now buckle it up. No, don't get. Look, he done pulled the cord on it. <laughs> Should have got me one of them orange ones. So we've got us a cooler full of skipjack and we're ready to go catfish. And this is gonna be our first spot. As you can see, we're just right below the dam here. We got a lot of barge bumpers right here, barge tie ups, whatever you wanna call them. Now each one of these bumpers right here creates a seam, a little eddy, and it also creates a little scour hole. So there's a lot of ups and downs in here. We also got the perfect current speed to try to do some bumping, about one and a half, two mile an hour, so. We're gonna get us some of this fresh skipjack cut up and see if they're in here. So I'm gonna start out here with just an average size head. Just gonna to try to find out how they're biting before we go put some big baits on. We're just wanting to get the skunk out of the boat. Got a three ounce weight on here. Current speed's about 1.6. We're gonna cut it down to about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 miles an hour. It's been a while since I've done some bumping. Hopefully I'll remember how to do this. So as far as my setup here, I just got a heavy action graphite rod with some 65 pound braid, Shimano Dakota low profile reel, 60 pound leader line with a 30 pound lead line.
What we got? He don't feel very big, but he ate that head, so he can't be a, too small. Oh, that's a nice fish. Got the skunk out of the boat. First fish bumping 2021. All right, so we did catch a couple fish in that first spot, but we're not getting the kind of action we're looking for. So we're gonna get some fresh bait on here and find us another place to try. We're just gonna keep moving around till we find what we're looking for. So we've moved up to the, closer to the dam here. We're only about probably 300 yards from the dam. We're gonna try this spot for a minute. He might be on there that time. Yeah, he's on there, look, oh! I don't think that's a catfish. Look at this thing going up river, it's flying. Look at him, son, I don't know. Striper. Get the net for me, Dad. Yeah, we just lost one, guys. It was a disaster. I didn't have the camera on. I hooked a fish. I was trying to get the camera on. The fish got all wrapped up in the motor and I lost him. But this is a pretty good fish. Oh, did he come off? No, he's just down there spinning. Yeah, this is gonna be a good fish right here. Getting there he seen. Oh, no, there he goes, back down again. What is it? I don't know, but he's heavy. That bait wasn't down there three seconds, was it? Look at him, he was just wanting, I can't get him up. I mean, it's a stiff rod. And I got it doubled over on him. Oh! Let me see it. That was a fight right there, boy. Might, that looked like about a 50 pounder, didn't Tell it's springtime because these fish are fired up. My forearm's sore. It's time to get serious now. We've been messing around, just enjoying ourselves out here. Caught a bunch of skipjack. But I've dropped just a few baits down in the last few minutes, and every time it hits the bottom, bam, I'm catching fish. So I think we found a little honey hole right here. We're just gonna keep working this bank. But first, we're gonna get a weight on this fish. What y'all think he weighs? Um, 45 pounds. 43 pounds. 43 to 44. Oh, I'm always right. So by the time you take the net off, you know it's 42, something like that.
pumped up, guys. Fish are biting. Still remember how to do this? Yeah. When he first starts swimming, let him bend that rod before you ever pull on him. Look at him, son. Got him, Oh Lord, Landon! No, I'm reeling mine in. Do you want me to kill the trailer motor? Man, that's so awesome. A friend of ours gave Landon this rod back in the fall, and he never really got a chance to use it. So today's his first day using it. It's an extremely stiff old Abu Garcia rod. 100% graphite, six foot six. As you can see, it don't bend much, but that short rod, it'll make it easy on landing. And it is light as a feather. What do you got there? Now they're all fighting hard today. It's a It's rolling. Heck yeah, that's a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's still. Don't let it get on the boat. What did I just see on it? What the heck? What is that? It's, it's fins, uh, no longer, it's... Is that a piece of an air through it? No, no it's his fins. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. What in the world? His top fin is, uh, that way he's rubbed the skin off of him. Well, congratulations, Landon. That's a nice fish. You want a picture with him, Landon? No. <laughs> he don't like the looks of them fins, does he? No, he don't. All right, get him back. Another one? Lord, it's huge. It's huge, he said. <laughs> Bigger than the last one? Uh, well, I don't know. He hit hard. That's, a, well, that's bigger than the last one, isn't it? They're all fun, don't they? There's another one, guys. Landon's, Landon's putting it on me and my dad. He dropped two baits and caught two fish. He's had a bait in the water probably a total of five minutes and done caught two fish. Nice fish, too. You want a picture with this one or are you waiting on the big one? Uh, I'll take a picture with that one. You will? Yeah, at least it don't look like an alien. Good job, good job. I'm back up here and do it again. So we kind of just got lucky and stumbled across this spot right here. I was just cruising up this bank and I happened to look down at the depth finder, seen a couple of humps. They're only like two foot tall. Uh, it's about 20 foot of water. And I seen a few fish laying behind them and decided to try it and bam. I mean, every time we drop a bait, we're catching a fish. Everybody's always looking for that big piece of structure. I mean, including myself, you know, we're looking for that big drop, 10, 20 foot, big pieces of structure, big ledges, but we probably overlook a lot of stuff like this. You wouldn't think that a one or two foot, three foot drop, little hump would do a whole lot, but it's breaking the current enough to hold those fish, I assume, because they're down there. Yeah, but he don't feel like much. Oh! Oh. You get a bite, How are we crossed? Wow. He ate that big old head, and I think he's like a five pounder. Check out that head. I just dropped that head down. Oh! 
There's landing hooked up. Dad, where's your fish at? I don't know. Heck yeah. I'm gonna drop him back in. Good job. Alright, here's part. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Softball fast low. Look at him, look, look, look. Yeah, he went, he took it. Didn't he? He went downtown with it that time. Ain't no little one, is it? Ooh, I just took oh, him. What the heck? Look at that. I jerked the rod out of him. Alright, come on now, fish. I seen that land. I thought you was going over. He put up a fight, didn't he? Oh, look at that, guys. Sometimes when they bite down on that bait, it gets turned like that. Nothing you can do about it. It's part of it. He pulled so hard, it ripped it in half just about. Another nice fish. How many fish have I caught? I mean, they are fired up. You think so? <laughs> One of y'all's getting there getting nailed. Who? One of y'all's getting there getting nailed. He's biting mine, but he ain't probably ain't gonna uh uh. Look, 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 look. He's got in his mouth, look. Swimming with it. You sure it ain't me hung? I got one on too. No. He said no. He said no reason. Got a fish. Oh. What? Sure, I ain't telling you. I got one on too. No. He said no. He said no reason. Look at this. This is a big fish. This might be your biggest fish ever. What's the biggest one you ever caught? 30 pounds, 30 something pounds? I don't know. That's, it's stick, your drag's sticking, that's not good. You get that same? Yeah, there's a bunch of them with that on there. That's weird, I don't know what that is. Catfish cold sore. Yeah. Finally, he finally got it done. All right, get him back in. That's a nice fish. Hardest hitting fish I've ever caught in my life. I mean, they're just, they'll hurt you when they hit it. Well, you seen what they've done to Dad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have pliers for this one, Dad. 
Another nice 15, 18 pounds, something like that. He's got me bleeding. He's got me tore all to pieces. He's going to take me this time. Is he on there? Yeah, he's on there. How big? He's about like the other one. Oh. Look. Same spot every time. There's just a little drop right there, guys. Only like a couple feet, but it's just enough to, to hold those fish. Break the current enough to make them lay in there. <laughs> I know it's crazy. Doubled up right there. Fifteen pounds. Now he's skinny, he's probably about ten or twelve. That's a neater there. That's the smallest one of the day, probably. But they're all fun to catch. And then here's this. He's probably 10 pounds, maybe 11. I mean, it's as fast as you can put a bait down there. It's, they're biting. Now, if you were wanting to catch a big fish, the best thing you could probably do today is put a huge piece of bait on just to avoid the smaller fish. But I like catching them all. I mean, yeah, I'd like to catch about a 70 or 80 right now, but action is a lot of fun. Just catching these, just nonstop. And they're all fighting hard. They all feel like monsters today. No. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to wrap up our trip. I've got a double hook rig. I put a whole skip jack on there. We're gonna drop that down, make one more drift down through here. See if we can find a big one that wants to bite. Oh, wait a minute. This will probably be the last fish of the day right here. It's only about 5 p.m., but we're all tired and hungry. Landon, he's already asleep up on the front of the boat, so probably gonna go ahead and call it a day. It wasn't down there 30 seconds and got smoked. So 
that's going to do it for us today. As you can tell, we're all sunburned. We're starving to death. We're all running on a couple hours of sleep. It was hard to leave those fish biting the way they were, but we got a pretty good ride home. And we're, like I said, we're all wore out. Now, I'm not sure how much of the footage I ended up using in this video because the wind was kicking the whole time. I'm sure it ruined a lot of the audio. But that was one of the best fishing trips I've ever had in my life as far as numbers go. I have no idea how many we caught. But as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. We'll see you next time.